Hello to all you beautiful souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you here for the first time, my name's Terry. I'm an intuitive tarot reader, message bearer, and light worker. Today's tarot reading is a yes or no pick a card. So ask your question of whomever you want to ask your question of, your angels, your spirit guides, your ancestors, the divine spirit, your higher power, wherever you'd like to place your question, ask your question and then use your intuition and select your pile. For those of you that already have a, an intuition selection method, you could go ahead and pause the video. This will be group number one, group number two, group number three, group number four, and group number five. Now, for anyone who would like to participate in a short breathing exercise to hone in with your intuition, We'll start that now. Take a slow, deep breath in while you close your eyes. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release, letting your cares and worries float out of your body on your breath. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release, asking your question. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release. Now, one of the crystals or a number between one and five may just pop into your mind. If that happens, select that pile. If not, don't worry. One more slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release. Now when you're ready, open your eyes and select the group that calls out to you the most. Trust your first instincts. That's your intuition. All right, representing group one, we have this card, group two, group three, group four, and group five. All right, go ahead and use the timestamps in the comments and description to jump ahead to your reading, and I will see you there. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected group number one with the aventurine. Your first message of the reading is to create your own luck. So you are very capable of creating your own luck. Um, you can manifest the luck and abundance you want. So just set your mind to it and, and do it. Now let's take a look at your yes or your no. So since we're gonna be drawing on screen, you can hold your question in your mind, ask it aloud if you'd like. Um, ask your spirit guides, angels, ancestors, the divine, your higher power. Now, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, please answer clearly yes or no for group number one. All right, you start with the ace of swords. Then you have the five of swords and the Eight of Cups. All right, this looks like a no to whatever you asked. There is a new beginning here that you're strong enough for, but this is stress and worry and, you know, it, it's, a, it's, it's you stressing about it. And then this is a natural ending, something that's supposed to end. It can even denote travel, so some of you may be traveling with regards to whatever you asked, but you, you kind of got a, a soft no to to whatever, whatever you asked, you know, you definitely have a new beginning. Let's see why these cards are here. So clarification for group number one, who was told to create their own luck. 
Why is this Ace of Swords here? All right, the Queen of Cups. So this is a new beginning that you're strong enough for. And the Queen of Cups denotes emotional intelligence. So some of you are asking about a new beginning on an emotional level. You know, some of you are starting a new beginning that really requires you to have an emotional strength, an emotional base that's very that's very strong. Now, why is the Five of Swords showing up here? All right, the Hermit. So some of you need to meditate to let go of some of this stress and worry and overwhelmed feeling that you have in the Five of Swords. Now, the Hermit also talks about using your alone time productively so, you know, you may be experiencing some time alone, going through a period where you've just been spending more time by yourself. Use some of that time to meditate. Really eliminate some of this worry because you don't have to have all of this worry. Now, for this Eight of Cups that is, you know, a natural ending and travel, what, why is this here? You get the Three of Swords. All right, so some of you are recovering from heartbreak. You know, some of you, you know, you're asking if this relationship is going to come back. And the answer to that is, is no, your heart got broken and you have to, you have to deal with the heartbreak, but you've got a brand new beginning that you are strong enough for. You can let go of the stress and worry and really meditate, bring yourself to center and jump into this new beginning. Now, I'd like to see what the angels have to add for group number one. So angels, using the angel deck, please add your messages for group number one. All right, you get be discerning. So follow your gut, all right? Wherever you think you should be going, that's where you should be going. You're being told to create your own luck, so be discerning. Whatever you hear, whatever you see, whatever you're told, Listen to your gut above everything else. Listen to that intuition. Now, you also get Archangel Zadkiel. Archangel Zadkiel is the Archangel of Forgiveness. So, with this heartbreak here, there is definite forgiveness needed. Whether you need to forgive yourself, yourself for the mistakes that you've made in this relationship, whether you need to forgive someone that broke your heart, you know, there's forgiveness needed. And Archangel Zadkiel is here to guide you through the forgiveness and into your new beginning. Now, for the spirit guides, what would the spirit guides like to add for group number one? All right, so specifically the spirit guides, using the spirit guide deck. What messages would you like to add for group number one? All right, you're being told to let go of ego and accept struggles as lessons. All right. So letting go of ego is, that's kind of ties in with this be discerning here because this was saying follow your gut and your ego is definitely not your gut. You know, let that, let that ego step to the side and you follow your intuition. And then accept struggles as lessons. As unfortunate as it is, we're all destined for a heartbreak or two. I mean, just about all of us. So as sad as it is that you're going through this, you have to accept it as a lesson. You know, something that you needed to learn, you know, see what it is your, your soul is trying to learn from the experience, even if it's just to be nice to yourself and forgive yourself. But learn the lesson that you need to learn. Accept those struggles. Now for Moonology, what is there to add for this Queen of Cups here? All right, nothing is yet set in stone. Okay, so basically you're being told you have the strength for this new beginning, but you have to make this new beginning. You have to let go of what is has ended and you have to really bring your strength to make the new beginning. Now for this three of swords, you get a new romantic cycle begins. So something ended, you know, definitely something ended it was heartbreaking and sad, but a new romantic cycle is starting for you. 
So again, you're being told you can move on. This is definitely a very clear you can move on and it's going to be okay reading. Now for the hermit, for the meditation, let's go to Queen of the Moon. So from the Queen of the Moon deck... For this hermit, angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Anything that you have to add for this hermit? Action. Okay, you are being told to take action, to step out of this really negative, you know, worrisome, stressful energy. Let it all go. Meditate. Take some time for yourself. Let the heartbreak go. You've had to feel it. It's time to move into your new beginning now. So, um, and yes, please just take what resonates. Like I said, this is a general reading. So some of it's going to resonate. Some of it's not. Some of you are not even asking about relationships. But whatever you asked about, the answer was very clearly no to whatever you asked Tarot. Now, from the star seeds for the star seeds. And you don't have to be a star seed for this to resonate. It's just a little added piece of wisdom. All right. You get inner worlds. Your external world is a reflection of your inner world. So that's this action you need to take. That is you taking some time for meditation to let this inner struggle go so your outer world can, can match a nice, calm inner world. Now, that is all I have for group number one today. Thank you so much to everyone who's supporting my channel in any way, whether it's by hitting the like button or the subscribe button, you know, leaving a donation, private readings, whatever it is you're doing, you know, commenting, whatever you're doing. I just want you to know I really appreciate you. So thank you very much. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected group number two with the red jasper. Your first message of the reading is to take action. So some of you are waiting and planning and waiting and planning, and now is the time to actually take action. So just take what resonates, but that is the message from the crystal. Now, as far as the yes or no, please hold your question in your mind since we're going to draw on screen. You can ask your question aloud of your angels, your spirit guides, your ancestors, the divine spirit, your higher power, whoever you wish. Now, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer clearly yes or no for the questions of group number two. All right, you start with the Nine of Wands and Death and the Four of Cups. All right, this looks like a no to whatever you're asking. It, uh, the Nine of Wands is about taking a really strong position that can sometimes cost you a sacrifice. Death is really rebirth. It's the end of something for the start of something new. And then the Four of Cups is boredom and, you know, really looking at what you wish you had over what you do have. Um, let's see why these cards are here. So, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, for group number two, why is this Nine of Wands here? Okay, some of you are not letting yourself experience love um, some of you are staying out of relationships because you feel like you have to for your children, because you feel like you have to, to have your career, like you're not letting yourself experience love. Some of you, that's why this nine of wands is here. You know, some of you are really, you know, cutting yourself off from experiencing things in life because you are so results driven you're so, you want what you want and you're not letting yourself experience some of the wonderful experiences you could be having. Now, this death card, why is the death card here? 
All right, the King of Cups. So this could be like some of you, this is a relationship that you have let go of. You know, the King of Cups normally represents a real loving, compassionate energy. Um, and this is a, a new beginning. It's the end of something for the start of something new. This re represents a rom romantic proposal in lots of, uh, lots of the time. So some of you are, are letting go of a relationship that maybe, maybe you should think about saving. Um, because this is a, it just, with this nine of wands, it seems like you're letting go of something you just don't have to let go of. Now, why is this boredom here? Why is this four of cups here? Okay. Okay, so this is clearly about a happy relationship. You know, I don't know who this is for specifically because this feels like a very specific reading. So please, if you are if you happen to be watching this and you're like, I have no idea what you're talking about, nothing resonates, please go pick a different reading. This is very specific. Somebody is really not letting themselves have this love relationship that they want. They're letting this person go. They could have this dream come true, but they're letting themselves just live in this what they could have while not realizing what they do have. So some of you need to understand that the dream come true still has issues. When you meet your soulmate, there's still going to be issues you have to work through. Some of you need to just let things unfold around you. Stop with the control so much. Um, you did get a no to whatever you asked, Haro. It is a very beautiful no in that all of your clarification is about love and romance and you know happiness so this is what you can have you need to let go of your really strong positions you need to look at what you have and be grateful and step into your new beginning wherever it is if your new beginning if you have a second chance i feel like a lot of you have a second chance with someone that you rejected or that you just couldn't move forward with because of this reason or that reason you have the chance to actually be happy in that relationship so please you know assess things like i said you got a no to whatever you asked tarot that's a very specific message but for whoever that's for please leave me a comment let me know how it goes when you when you hook back up with the one that you love because clearly there's love in this king of cups all right let's see what the angels have to add for group number two angels please use the angel deck and add whatever messages you have for group number two Archangel Gabriel. All right. Archangel Gabriel is the messenger. So I'm not surprised that she's showing up here with this very specific message to go after this second chance, you know, to really let yourself be happy. If you were happy and you had the chance to be happy and you stepped out of that romance for the wrong reasons for, you know, any, you, you shouldn't step away from love. If you really are in love you shouldn't step away from it. You have the chance to be happy. You should be happy. Now, you also get seek enlightenment. Okay, this is follow your gut, follow your heart, follow the divine, follow your angel's guidance, follow your higher self. Seek enlightenment. Ask what to do. Ask these questions. Now, what do the spirit guides have to add for group number two? Group number two, what do the spirit guides have to add? Okay. You get your beliefs are right for you. Okay, absolutely. Your beliefs are right for you. And you're being told to accept struggles as lessons as well. So, yes, what you've already been through, what you're going through, accept it as lessons. You have to learn. Your beliefs are absolutely right for you. 
So follow the guidance of your guidance system, whether it's angels, spirit guides, whatever, whatever system you choose that's right for you, follow it, but follow whatever system, you know, follow your heart, whatever way it leads you, because you've got the chance to really be happy. Now, let's see what Moonology has to add. So, Moonology, Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors. Please add whatever messages you have regarding this Knight of Cups. You are good enough. Oh my goodness. Some of you stepped out of relationships because you didn't think you were good enough. You are plenty good enough, and this is a good relationship. You know, this may be a relationship that's getting ready to manifest for some of you, too. You know, I, I can definitely feel how this is someone walking away from a relationship that they need to go back and find it. But some of you, this is a brand new relationship that you are going to be good enough for. So just, you know, let things progress the way they're going to progress. Now, for this Nine of Cups... Okay, so Virgos, this is another Virgo. You get the full moon in Virgo and the new moon in Virgo. So I feel like there's a lot of Virgos here. Um, Virgos are really balanced, that's great, but you have a lot of trouble with self-worth. You are worth this happy ending, so let yourself have it. Now, for this King of Cups, whether the King of Cups represents you and your loving, generous energy, whether it represents the one that you love and their energy, or whether it represents the one you're going to meet and this new beginning and their energy. Let's see what Queen of the Moon has to add for this King of Cups. All right, so angels, spirit guides, ancestors for the King of Cups. You get resilience. There is still so much life in this relationship like look at the heavy burden that this woman is carrying but it's full of life there is full of life there this relationship is full of life you know it's it's got a really wonderful um a really wonderful energy now i want to get a final message from the star seed deck so from the star seeds for the star seeds and you don't have to be a star seed for this to resonate from the star seeds for the star seeds. All right. Vibration. Your vibration is being raised to higher levels. You are connected to cosmic intelligence. All right. So your spirit guides clearly giving you guidance. You know, take the guidance that's meant for you because, like I said, there's several different relationships here. There's a brand new relationship. There is a relationship that you're going back to. There is the, the openness to being in the relationship that you want. You are good enough. It's a time to give rather than take. So give of yourself freely. You know, call out to Archangel Gabriel. She is overlooking you, trying to get you the messages to really let yourself experience life. That is what she wants. She wants you to let yourself experience life. All right, that is all I, it's time to take action, okay? That was the signifier of the whole reading. It is definitely time for you to take action. All right, thank you so much to Archangel Gabriel for being in the reading. Thank you to everyone who's supporting my channel in any way, whether it's by like, subscribe, comment, private reading, donation, whatever you're doing, I really appreciate you and I want you to know it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected group number three with the Malachite. Your first message of the reading is it's time to transform. So some of you are going through a transformative period in your life and it's going to be okay. It's, you know, it's a transformation for you, but that's okay. We all go through transformations. Now, since we're drawing on screen, please hold your question in your mind. Ask your spirit guides, angels, ancestors, your higher power, the divine spirit, whomever you wish. And you can ask it aloud even if you wish. Now, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, 
please answer yes or no clearly for group number three? All right, you start with judgment. That's a second chance. Ooh, the nine of cups. That's a dream come true. And the five of cups. All right, that is looking at what you've lost versus looking at what you still have. So you're getting a second chance at a dream come true, though. It is time for transformation. You just need to see it. Um, let's, this, this looks like a yes, but I want to get some clarification, you know, because you have a second chance and a dream come true. So that definitely trumps the, the sadness and looking at what you've lost. Um, I do, I feel like some of you have lost something and what you have, um, asked Tarot about, but let's see, let's get some clarification and see why each of these cards are here. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors, why is the judgment card here? All right, so stable financial foundations. So some of you are asking about money and you're getting a second chance for a stable financial foundation that's gonna be a dream come true for you. So let go of whatever you've lost. If you've lost something financial, you're, you're coming back into your stable foundation, it's okay. Now for the Nine of Cups, why is the Nine of Cups here? All right, so maybe clinging on to something too tightly in the seven of swords you're really just clutching it and not giving it room to breathe it can also be something being taken from you that you feel like someone took your dream come true from you and that's what you've lost in this five of cups let's see what clears up this five of cups the lovers all right so some of you are getting a second chance with your soulmate you know you guys have done sneaky things you know they have you have somebody has it left somebody heartbroken but you guys are coming back together this does look like a yes to whatever you asked tarot some of you are asking about money some of you are asking about love um some of you are clinging to things too tightly and some of you have had things taken from you but either way, whatever you ask Tarot, the answer is yes. There is a beautiful second chance for some of you with your soulmate. There is a beautiful second chance at a solid, firm financial foundation. You can have this dream come true, absolutely. Yeah, there may be sneakiness around somebody in there or, you know, or you may need to not cling to it so tight and, you know, let it go so that it can come back to you please stop looking at what you've lost and see what you still have because this lovers is coming out this is a soulmate relationship and that is something that everyone hopes to find and and hopefully everyone will but but many of you have it and uh, many of you if you don't have it you were asking about it and you will find it soon all right now let's see what the angels have to add for group number three so angels, please add your messages using the angel deck for group number three. All right, you get seek within. So you guys need to look into your heart, ask yourself what you want, see what's happening with this five of cups where you're focusing on what you've lost over what you still have let your dream come true come back in so seek within yourself now you also get be discerning so follow your gut you know if if somebody's doing something sneaky around you follow your gut you're gonna get through whatever energy this seven of swords represents it's not gonna be a big deal you've got major arcana coming out in the lovers you know you're you still have your soulmate many of you you know, many of you are with your soulmate in this particular reading. You still have your soulmate, so count those blessings, but be discerning. Now, spirit guides, what do you have to add? You get kindness counts, and you are here for a reason. All right, so you're here to love and be loved and show love and kindness and compassion and mercy and wonderful things so really let yourself experience what you're supposed to be experiencing let yourself experience joy and happiness 
Let yourself really revel in your soulmate connection with the lovers. Now, for the four of coins, you get a personal issue reaches resolution. So yeah, the solid financial foundations, something is coming to an end resolution wise. You're getting a second chance at something. So that is beautiful. Now for the lovers, you get a time for healing. All right. So if you guys have hurt each other, it's time to heal with each other. You know, you got a yes to whatever you asked Tarot, but if you and your soulmate are hurting, it's time for healing. So just take that as it resonates. Now, for this Seven of Swords, what does Queen of the Moon have for the Seven of Swords here? You know, what, what can be done about this Seven of Swords? All right, so angels, ancestors, spirit guides, using the Queen of the Moon deck, what can be done about the Seven of Swords? All right, you get blossoming. You are blossoming despite whatever sneaky energy someone is putting there. You know, if somebody's messing around with your happily ever after, it's okay. You are blossoming. You are growing from it. You are here for a reason. You should heal with your soulmate because that is a wonderful, wonderful connection. And like I said, you got a yes to whatever you ask, Tarot. So just, you know, be discerning with where you put your energy, but definitely let yourself enjoy this lover's energy here, this soulmate connection. All right. You get advancement. A strong energy is propelling you forward. Follow the stirrings of your heart. All right. So wherever you have this soulmate opportunity here, you need to let you guys heal. You need to let things happen. You need to realize that you are being propelled forward by the universe and just, you know, that you're here for a reason. So use that discernment, but mix it with kindness and, you know, take your second chance at your happily ever after. All right. That is all I have for group number three. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. For those of you supporting my channel in any way, I appreciate you and I want you to know it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected group number four with the Lemurian Quartz. Your message is to practice patience. So whatever you're asking Tarot about, there's going to be patience involved in it. So just prepare yourself. Um, none of us really like learning the patience thing, but, uh, but we all have to practice patience. Now, let's take a look at your yes or your no. Please hold your question in your mind. Ask it aloud of your angels, spirit guides, ancestors, if you'd like. And we'll take a look and see what they say. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors, for group number four, please answer yes or no clearly. All right, so you start with the seven of swords. And the fool. And the Four of Cups. All right, I'd like to see clarification on this because the Fool talks about you starting a new journey, but the Seven of Swords talks about something sneaky and the Four of Cups talks about some boredom. So let's see what's going on with the Seven of Swords here. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Ooh, the Sun. Okay, so um, maybe this is not necessarily being sneaky, but maybe this is you hanging on too tightly to something because the sun is coming out and it's taking all the sting out of it. So I, I would say with the sun coming out, this is definitely a yes. I was kind of on the fence about it, but the sun coming out definitely um, shows this to be a very positive use of the seven of swords. Now, um, let's see about the fool card. Oh, you get the empress. So that's abundance. That could be motherhood for some of you. Some of you asking, you know, will you conceive? The answer is yes. And finally, for the Four of Cups, all right, so some of you, there's going to be some struggling for what you want. The Five of Wands is fighting, um, and then boredom, and boredom can sometimes lead to fighting. 
So, you know, there's going to be fighting for what you want. You're going to have to be patient. Practice patience. But you did get a yes to whatever you asked Tarot. It may take its time getting here. You know, that's, that may be the situation that it takes its time getting here. But you did get a yes. And you've got the sun coming out. So it's, it's beautiful. Now, let's take a look at what the angels have to add for group number four. So angels, please add your messages using the angel deck for group number four. All right, you get Archangel Uriel. That's the Archangel of Wisdom and Compassion. All right, so where you're fighting, some compassion needs to be doled out. You know, maybe stepping out of this, this fighting, this arguing that's going on is going to be a little bit healthier for you as you move forward. Archangel Uriel is the Archangel of Wisdom. He's guiding you forward. That's why he shows up in your reading to kind of let you know, hey, he's here. He wants to, uh, to let you know that he is guiding you. So where you feel you need wisdom, you can call out to Archangel Uriel and he will assist. Now, from the Spirit Guides, what do the Spirit Guides have to add for group number four? Accept struggles as lessons. We keep seeing accept struggles as lessons. So I guess everyone is just learning lessons and we have to just accept them the way that they are meant. And death is an illusion. All right. So with this compassion and the death is an illusion, someone has got a family member trying to come through with the tarot. Um, that's why this death is an illusion card is there. It's letting you know that your loved one is still with you, still looking out for you. Um, coming out on the compassion, I, I think some of you know exactly who this is. Um, just know that they are, they're happy. They're trying to pull, pour their compassion out on you to help you recover from their loss. And, uh, and Archangel Uriel is there to support you as well. All right, so take that as it resonates. It's for whoever it's for. Now, for the Moonology, let's see what Moonology has to say about this sun. All right, so Moonology, for the sun, please. All right, bring love into the situation. So, again, some of you hanging on to something too tight. You need to, if you love it, let it go and it will come back to you, okay? That is kind of the, the message with bring love into the situation because this sun is so brilliant. It just takes all the sting out of that seven of swords. Now for this five of wands and the, and the boredom with the four of cups, you get your dreams need a practical plan. All right, so some of you are spinning your wheels and not really getting anywhere. Some of you are really fighting hard for what you want and not seeing progress. You need a practical plan too. You, you need to manifest what you want, but there's action that needs to happen when you manifest. So just start working on that practical plan for your dreams because you guys are at the beginning of the fool's journey. Now for the fool's journey and the empress out of queen of the moon, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please show us out of queen of the moon for the empress. You get fruition. Okay, so some of you are definitely becoming moms. This is coming to fruition for you. Others of you, to, I mean, take what resonates. If you're not, if that's not part of your path, then it's obviously not part of your path. Um, so you're all at the beginning of a, a new journey. You know, the fool coming out is about you being at the beginning of a journey. There is lots of sunshine on this journey. And you just need to remember to bring love into everything that you do. You are coming to fruition. You are you know, you are going to succeed. You did get a yes to whatever you asked Tarot. Your dreams need a practical plan. And, uh, and yeah, really accept those struggles as lessons and be patient, patient. Now, I want to get you a star seed message to finish this out. So from the star seeds, for the star seeds, please. And you don't have to be a star seed for this to resonate. So from the star seeds for the star seeds. Creation. 
being creative is a wonderful way of witnessing the unfolding of your limitless creative soul. All right. So again, bring your creativity, you know, bring your dreams. This is a beautiful start and you got a yes to whatever you asked, Tarot. All right. Thank you so much for Archangel Uriel being here with us today. Thank you for selecting me as your tarot reader and clicking the like and subscribe button. For anyone who's supporting my channel, I really appreciate you and I want you to know it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected group number five with the rotocrosite. Your first message of the reading is to remember your worth. So some of you have been selling yourself short. You need to remember that you are worthy of all of the things that you want in this lifetime. Now let's take a look at your yes or no. So everyone, please just hold their question in there. Hold your question in your mind and um, you can ask it aloud of your angels, spirit guides, ancestors, the divine, your higher power, whomever you wish. Now, let's see, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please show us for group number five, a clear yes or no answer. All right, so you start with the eight of cups. Ooh, and the ace of wands, so a new beginning you're passionate about. Ooh, and faith. Wow, okay, so uh, um, this, this it looks very positive. Uh, some of you are talking about education. Some of you are talking about marriage. Some of you are talking about relationships. Um, you know, that the, the faith coming out is the Hierophant. It's about religion. It's about education. It's about anything really institutional. And it's also a marriage card. This Ace of Wands can sometimes signify um, male fertility and a new passionate beginning that can... Uh, can lead to a baby and then this is a natural ending so something possibly about your way of life is changing but I think it's a good change I think that uh, that many of you are are asking about specific relationships um, and that and people asking about going back to college now let's get the clarification on why this eight of cups is here so angels spirit guides ancestors please show us why the eight of cups is here all right, you get the King of Coins. So the King of Coins is a really materialistic viewpoint. Coming This ending with the Ace of Wands and the Faith being here, I think this King of Coins represents you, and I think it represents you looking at things um, from kind of a materialistic standpoint, whereas in your new beginning, you are going to look at things from more of a passionate standpoint. Now let's see why this Ace of Wands is here. Ooh, you got a dream come true. So this new beginning is exactly what you want. Now faith. So why is faith here? All right, page of coins. Okay, so definitely there's going to be, like some of you are asking about money and good financial things are coming for you. There is a brand new beginning for some of you that is super passionate and it's gonna be a dream come true. Some of you are asking, will I get married? at this point, the answer to all of your questions is yes. This is a very beautiful reading. Some of you have travel going on with this Eight of Cups. There may be something ending like your materialist, you know, a materialistic viewpoint on life may be ending in light of a marriage, in light of a baby, in light of like a life change, but a really positive life change. And there are still plenty of financial opportunities. For those of you asking about, about finances, you got the King of Coins and the Page of Coins. So you've got financial things covered. It looks really good. Now let's see what the angels have to add for group number five. So angels, please add your messages for group number five. All right. You start with be content. All right, so you're being asked to be content, which can kind of, go, kind of go hand in hand with gratitude. So be grateful for what you have because new, brand new, amazing things are coming in for you. 
And then you also get Cherish Innocence. This is your own innocence. This is the innocence in children. You know, this is innocence. Just cherish innocence. You know, sometimes believing is seeing. You know, she believes in the fairy, so she sees the fairy. Cherish the innocence inside you. Now, let's see what the spirit guides have to add. So, spirit guides specifically. What do we have to add to the reading for group number five? All right. Patience is a virtue. All right. So some of you, this beginning is not happening quite as fast as you would hope. Patience, patience, it is coming to you. Now, you also get practice moderation. Okay. So you have so much good coming to you. Just, you know, be smart. Practice moderation. Don't go to extremes with anything. You know, moderation in all things. Now, let's see what Moonology has to add for this King of Coins here. So, for the King of Coins for Moonology, you get confidence is your key to success. All right. So confidence is the key for you, um, especially those of you trying to step into your King of Coins energy, trying to manifest the life that you want, trying to manifest the material things that you want. Confidence is going to be your key to success. Now for this page of coins over here with the, the, with the Hierophant, you get a personal issue reaches resolution. So again, some of you having issues going back to school, those are coming to an end. It's going to be easy from, from now on. You're going to step into the opportunity. Um, some of you stepping into marriage, but you know, per so sorry about that. We experienced a slight technical difficulty. And so the, we'll, we'll start back with where we were, you know, you got a personal issue reaching resolution here with the full moon in cancer. And that is, that's just saying that you're, you know, the, the troubles that you've had with going back to school, with getting things worked out, with getting married, whatever that hierophant means for you, those personal issues are coming to an end. Now from Queen of the Moon for the Nine of Cups, you got the masculine. The masculine is all about you having the power to really take control in your life. There's action that you're going to need to take for this wonderful, wonderful dream come true with this new beginning. So just know when it's time to take action, you're going to have to take it. And then from the Starseed Oracle, you got Blue Star. Follow the light of your inner compass, the Blue Star. It will lead you to the truth that resides within your soul. So follow your inner compass. Confidence is your key to success. Be patient. Some of you stepping into this King of Coins energy, some of you stepping into a brand new beginning. Either way, practice moderation and follow your heart. All right, that is all I have for group number five today. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. For those of you supporting my channel in any way, I just want you to know I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.